Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and today we're going to do one of the wireless features that are very important depending on your situation and the solutions that you have. This one is the SSID availability. This is very useful if you have some specific places or companies when you need to broadcast that signal or that Wi-Fi for just a period of time. Could be just business hours from eight to five, or could be after business hours, after 5 p.m. until midnight, or until the next day. And these features can help you to achieve that. Or even you have a Cisco Meraki access points on your home and you wanna ensure that your kids are out of Wi-Fi signals after 8 p.m., this can help you as well. So I'm gonna show you how to make all these configurations in the dashboard. If you'd like to know more, about the different Cisco Meraki features, you can go here. You're gonna see a list of different videos on how to configure Cisco Meraki access points, switches, cameras, and security appliances as well. In addition with that, you will see troubleshooting tips or even how to automate your network using APIs. Coming back to the SSID availability, we're gonna go through the dashboard. I'm gonna show you what it is and what are all the factors that include it to configure these kind of features. So let's go to the dashboard and let's configure it. Great, so now that we're here in our lovely dashboard, we're gonna go and try to configure all the way possible with the SSID availability for our MR access points. First thing that we have to go is check our access points. Right now in this network, we have one, and I put this tag office, which is gonna see, we're gonna see in the future um, why we need this. So in the MR30H, here we can see that we have three different SSIDs that we're broadcasting the IT Way Corp, the IT Way Guest, and the Splash page. So right now, the three of them says broadcasting. What we're gonna play around is with the IT Way Guest. So we're gonna put a different ways of how to broadcast and different times. To do that, first thing that we have to do is go into wireless SSID availability. So here we have, we have seen all the different ways that you can configure this specific feature. The first one is select the SSID that you want to use, in this case, the IT Way Guest. You have three different options here. Visibility, it means that you have you can arbitrage this SSID publicly or you can hide this SSID. It means that if you have like any device that is gonna try to find a Wi-Fi signal around, it's not gonna be able to see this SSID in particular. At the beginning, let's say, advertise to everyone so we don't have to get some advanced tools to, to ensure that you can connect to the device and to the access points. So with that, it's clear the per AP availability. With this is, for example, you have 20 access points on your network, and you know that the guest area is just covered by two access points. So you can tag these two access points and just broadcast this SSID in this area. As I mentioned before, you saw that I had the office tag, so we can use that in this case. So we, you select this SSID is enabled on some APs, and here you can see the tag that I put before for the MR30H. So you can select that just for this AP, even though I have plenty of APs on the network, it's gonna be broadcast just in this one. And the schedule availability. So in this one, if you put enable, you're gonna see more menu and more choices. The first part that we can understand here is the days. So you have the days, the availability to ensure that this SSID is available or is not available during this, this day. And the from two is for a schedule. He is, there is a better user interface that just put in the, the numbers here. It's gonna be more easy for us to understand it. In this part, a schedule templates, they have some templates for you just for quickly access. For example, if you're around like an office specific for these hours, it's gonna be easier for you. You can put available for eight to five, boom, and you're gonna see this gonna change. So the green side is the time when the APs are gonna broadcast these SSID, and the gray areas are the ones that are, they are not gonna be broadcasting this SSID in your environment. So that's why if you put the eight to five, you will see that in every day, the SSID will be broadcast from 8 a.m. to five but which a.m. at which 5 p.m. And that's why this local zone comes to place. So this is the one that you can configure network-wide settings. Ensure that if you go to network-wide settings, this is place where the AP are physically located. So it's gonna be easier for you to digest the time zone. But if it's not, 
this is the place where you can change it. Network wide settings, general, and then here in local time zone. Coming back to the SSID availability, let's start all over. You know how the drill is. We're gonna advertise. This is gonna be enable the Xperia Office again. I enable here. So now that we've set the correct local time zone, we know that if we select this one, it's gonna broadcast from 8 to 5 p.m. The other one is the same except weekends because if you wanna cover weekends, that's the first one you can use. If you don't, that this is the more appropriate for you. There is another one that is always available and it's for you to see how it's gonna look like. So this one, having this one enabled and not having SSID availability is exactly the same thing. But if you say, no, for me, uh, I don't want it to be broadcast weekends, so we can start with this. The other one, no, it's not from eight, so I wanna put it from 10 a.m. until, I don't know, 4 p.m. That's the way that is easier for you to configure, and you can do the same thing every day, and you can change every day manually. Or you can just put here the, the number, and it's gonna automatically change as well. So it depends on what is the function that you want on your environment, and then you can make the adjustments here. If you don't want that day in particular, you can do it manually here as well, on available, and then you see that it flipped. It means that if you want that, work, that SSID to not broadcast during office hours, that's how you flip in, in, in a way to flip the switch. I understand that from eight to five, this SSID will not be broadcast. And from 5 p.m. on to all the other day until 8 a.m., it will be broadcast. And that's the difference that you can use. So you can play around with that to ensure that you have everything that you need. So then what happens when you make it and configure it? How do you know that it's been broadcast or not? If you save the changes and then you have SSID availability enabled in this SSID. Coming back to the access point, if you click in the access point, you remember the three, the place where we saw the three SSIDs are in broadcast, you see the difference here. Now you can see this kind of tag symbol and the clock. If it's broadcasting, you will see the same message broadcasting. And now you identify that this has SSID availability enabled. So at the moment, since we select that all the time will be broadcasting, you see it here. Now, if you remove it and say that in this time, let's put it in the other way. Let's try and put it like that to know that we have the SSID uh, availability enabled, but it shouldn't be broadcast at any time. And that is the same that would happen if you check the access points when the time that you're selecting is not broadcasting at, the, at that moment. So let's see how it looks like. If I come here, you will see that now the SSID is grayed out and it's gonna show you a message more clearly, right? It's not broadcasting because of the schedule that you set up at the beginning. So it went off at this time and this date, and then it's gonna come back at this time at this date. And that's how you configure the SSID availability. That's how you see the, the different options. And that's how you can determine if the SSID is being broadcast or not at this time. And that's how you configure the SSID availability to your network, to your solutions, and to your needs. So it's very easy. You have the different options, and it's just like drag and drop, and just save it. So that's, that was pretty easy. If you'd like to know more about different features, you can go here. You will find an extensive list now of the security appliance, switches, access points, and cameras, and how to troubleshoot it, how to configure it, and how to automate using the API. And that's how I use this SID availability in the Meraki way. See you the next one.